Yeah, we had a little cool front come through. It's a little chilly down here this morning, but uh, at least we're out of the wind. We got our stairs just about all the way down to the bottom of the uh, hillside right now. You can see we're working on the last uh, four by four landing. We got one more set of stairs going down after that. Then we're gonna go to a um, 10 by 12 foot platform. That is going to join into the dock or to the boardwalk that's going all the way out to the water. And then we'll also be connecting it to a ramp that's gonna be going up this hillside right here, making a uh, five foot wide ramp so we can take his uh, four wheeler up it or UTV because he's got about 500 foot of walkway going all the way out to the uh, water's edge here through this, uh, through this area right here. So if you forget something down at the end, you don't have to walk all the way back up. You ride your UTV, you back up, make it a lot easier. We're just about to the bottom of the hill. Had to do some scaffolding and forming up for our last landing section. Kind of get a perspective of how tall this hill is from here. We're down at 54 steps right now to, to the base of this. This is what I just took the uh, tracker down this side of the hill here. Yeah. <laughs> Can't tell by the picture. Run off the track. Everybody's wanting to know how that guy's doing it, Phil. <laughs> doing good, I got a smile on. <laughs> hey, this is what hard work does right here. We just ordered two brand new D3 Cat skid steers. Of course, I got mine with air conditioner. We're gonna put these out in the field and put them to use. I've been sitting in a tractor for so long without an air conditioner, it's gonna be nice to be able to enjoy one. Got the tractor all the way down the bottom of the hill. That's a fun ride. We got several step, uh, several sets of stairs installed. Just working on another platform now. Got two more sets, another four by four platform, and then a 10 by 12 platform. And then we'll be headed out on the boardwalk. That's how we get her two bait by 20s down this big old hill. Didn't make it. stairs completed several stairs landings all the way down to a 10 by 12 platform at the bottom now we're working our way up the side of the hill back this way you can't see it but my track coat is hidden in that hillside somewhere where I'm doing a diagonal ramp up the side of this hill here which will end up coming up right over here so you can ride this four wheeler down back up the hillside, hit a diagonal, gonna make a ramp. Because these stairs are gonna kill you going back and forth. So if you forget something down on the uh, dock, take your four wheeler all the way back up here. Um, about two thirds of the way up the hill now. Still gotta go all the way through this area here to the top of the hill. Here's the area of the ramp on the other side. I've just about got tracked up the hill. Pretty darn steep, <laughs> as you can tell. And start the ramp right here and have it work down to the end of the stairs that we got over here on the other side. There's a ramp down there behind me.
minutes of early morning start so we get to see the uh, beautiful sunrises. They never get old. Still a little dark out to see what we've done on these stairs here, but uh, it's a heck of a climb up to the top of the hillside. You're huffing and puffing by the time we get there. I guess it's a good morning workout. Nice observation platform on top here, so you can set up there and kind of look around over the edge of the hill and all that, see all the wildlife and the birds. We actually saw two big old bald eagles uh, fly over the other day. You kind of see the uh, stairs now, the sun's coming up. It's quite a hike up the hill. A little trail to the left here is going to be a ramp, which I've mentioned several times, and we've already started on that. Uh, getting a pole set for that, and hopefully get a lot of that framed up today. All these poles are dug in just a little bit, and then we cut points on the ends of the pilings, and we drive them in with a vibratory hammer. So they're a good bit into the hillside, like driving a big spike in the side of a hill, so we should not have any issues. All the stairs are real stable too, no shake to them at all. All this is screwed together with stainless steel screws. Every connection is bolted with a hot tip galvanized half inch bolt. So quite a drop off of the edge you can see as the drone flies over and looking down. Beautiful view. We'll be continuing that boardwalk on out through the uh, wetland area there and you can see over here where the uh, ramp is going in right now. Doesn't really show the steepness of that hill but that thing is ridiculous. I'm actually digging a trail myself up that hillside. It's, it's pretty steep. <laughs> According to what I've researched, 40 degrees is about a good, comfortable elevation climb uh, in a four-wheeler or UTV. And we're right at 18, uh, 15 to 18 degrees, so this should be a comfortable ride up the side. We're going to be using rough cut lumber on the uh, decking. We're going to be spacing a little bit wider so the tires can grab the uh, poles and uh, get real good traction, no sliding. Also be putting some rails on the side, just in case. <laughs> If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, if you would, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share. If you share it on Facebook, I'd appreciate it. We've got plenty more of these coming up. We're going to be here for a while.